Welcome to Snake Cinema Reviews. I'm your host, Prince Elias. This here is Lafayette, my cinnamon ball python. And today we are reviewing, we're reviewing several videos, so you'll see Lafayette a lot in the next coming weeks. But first we are reviewing the third episode of WandaVision. WandaVision is a Marvel show on Disney Plus. And if you haven't checked out my first review on the first two episodes that premiered last week, go check it out. But anyways, this is episode three. And in this episode, um, to me, this is the best episode yet so far. Um, of course, that can all change um, once we continue on with the season. But so far, out of the first three episodes that's been released, episode three is the best one. And it is basically a 70s aesthetic, like the Brady Bunch type shows. Um, so a lot of shows that I grew up on watching and the jokes are funny um the acting just as great the you know and there were a lot more a lot more easter eggs marvel easter eggs as well as meta jokes when it comes to that style of sitcoms that um we've seen time and time again on old classic shows from back in that time period and you're so and even though I didn't read, I'm not brushed up on the old WandaVision comics or any comics that dealt with Scarlet Witch. Um, I still kind of got some of the gist of what was going on as well as, um, you know, I, after doing my research, I learned a little bit more. And it kind of makes me want to go and try to find those old early comics. Um, because it was heavy, heavy on the Easter eggs if you've um if you're familiar with the comics but even if you're like me you're not that familiar with the comics don't fret you'll still enjoy the episode and enjoy the show it won't take anything from you now i'm not going to go into any spoilers or mention any characters that we know will progress the show along as well as um progress the marvel cinematic universe as a whole but i will say that this episode was amazing it was a lot of fun a lot of jokes i laughed um and there were um you're starting to get the gist that uh there's some more darker elements coming um despite the you know the the fun energetic sitcom feel and i like that they're still committed to the whole sitcom classic tv show feel um like wanda the character herself is committed to this fantasy that pretty much she's created in her head and it's just it's just amazing i love how they balance it to where you're watching it feels like you're watching a classic uh, sitcom, a classic comedy show, um, but underneath, you know that some shit's going to go down pertaining to Sword and um, all the other different entities in the background. All the, you know, I believe we're going to get closer and closer to our main villains, um, and it's just, it's exciting. It's exciting. I can't wait to see how the rest of this season is going to pan out. Um, and I'm starting to see, will they be able to wrap this up into a nice bow and it just be one season, one limited series. And then anything connected to Wanda will just be in the movies. Cause she will be in Dr. Strange. She will be a big part of Dr. Strange's next film, as well as some other, you know, um, in the next phase of Marvel movies, or will we get a season two? I'm not sure. We probably won't get a season two, but if we do, I just want to see how this is going to play out. Like, like I said, will they wrap everything up into a tiny bow where we get all the answers of what the hell is going on? And the story ends with the reality being broken and Vision's not really there because, spoiler, he died in the movies. <laughs> um, or will they continue this on? this fantasy on for a little while longer, maybe giving us a season two before we jump back into the films. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Cause you know, one thing about Marvel, they don't give their whole hand. They don't let you know everything ahead of time because 
that's what makes the Marvel Cinematic Universe great and what makes DC not so great. <laughs> um, Marvel doesn't play their whole hand. They always have surprises. Even for those comic book readers, those people, those nerds that know everything about the comics, I think Marvel is going to have something up their sleeve where they, they even trick them. Um, but either way, I love this episode. Episode 3 was amazing. It's the best episode yet. Can't wait to see what next week, episode 4, will be like. And will we get any more answers? And, you know, let's see what happens. What these characters go through. And will... I wonder, will um, Wanda's fantasy break before the season finale? The season finale? Or... On the last episode of the season finale. Not sure, but I feel like we're getting close. We're getting super close to getting all the answers and seeing what the hell is going on. But I can't wait. Again, I enjoyed this episode. I highly recommend it. Have you seen WandaVision yet? If not, go on Disney Plus and watch it. First three episodes are already out. And I will ch catch you guys out in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I am Prince Elias. This is Lafayette, and we will check y'all in the next review. Peace.